Welcome to Data Push, and these are the top tech stories for April 6th, 2017. So just to remind you, or to let you know, in case you forgot or you didn't know, real robot wars are happening. Not like battle bots, you know those little robots fighting in a cage. No, these are colossal two-story robots that are going to be fighting each other. There is an American company and a Japanese company that are building robots to duke it out in August of this year. You can watch it on both of their YouTube channels. I'll leave a link in the description to the full article that has links to everything that you need. But just be aware that these robots are massive. They're using huge chainsaws and flamethrowers and they're gonna destroy each other and it's gonna be awesome. I cannot wait to see this fight. I've been dreaming of this since I saw Pacific Rim or Real Steel or even way back in the day when I started watching BattleBots when I was a kid. I wanted life-size massive robots to fight. Next up, we have the Switch Charge, which is a battery pack for the Nintendo Switch. And it's touting to be the best battery pack you can get for the Switch. It um, <clears throat> has a 12,000 milliamp hour battery, which is saying that it will last your Switch 12 hours of playtime. Um, it's shaped to clip onto the Switch, which is really nice, and it's a lot better than some of the other uh, battery packs you can get that just plug in and then they charge um, a trickle charge in the background because, well, then you can't use the kickstand. But this one, since it clips around the Switch itself, you can still use the kickstand. It looks pretty awesome. There's a link in the description for the full article that has a link to the Indiegogo or the Kickstarter or whatever they're using to fund this project. Maybe it'll be the battery pack you pick up because I can tell you right now, that two and a half hour, three hour battery life, just not cutting it. And of course, what everybody's talking about everywhere on the internet, the Xbox Scorpio specs were released today. We pretty much already knew what they were, but just a quick rundown. Uh, the only changes, it's still got the six teraflops of power, which if you don't know what a teraflop is, and you're looking at me like, what are you even talking about? Check out my video. It's up in the card right here uh, to what a teraflop actually is, or card over here, oh, wherever it is. It'll also be in the description. Um, I explain what a teraflop is and exactly what these, these specs mean for the uh, Xbox Scorpio. True 4K gaming, um, we're actually seeing that it's going to have 12 gigabytes of memory instead of the eight that we thought before, which is the more memory, the better. Bring it all on. I'm super excited for it. And then 326 uh, megabits of bandwidth, which is pretty good. A lot of the top end PCs are running about that. So this should be an awesome machine to have in your living room if you have a 4K TV. If you don't have a 4K TV, it's not really for you. Yeah, the loading times will be faster, but the GPU that is in this beast is made for 4K gaming. So if you don't have a 4K TV, pick one up before you buy this device. All right, thank you so much for watching Data Push for April 6, 2017. If you haven't already, check out my t-shirt store. I'm wearing one right now. They're awesome. And I'm gonna be putting up some new designs pretty soon here. So the link is in the description. You can head over and buy some shirts, buy some merch, buy all sorts of stuff. Give me all the money. And until next time, we'll see you in the next one.